Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and design the registration page. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to pull up our Android Studio. Right, so I'm going to go into our screens. I'm going to create a new dart file. So I'm going to call this dart file registration page. All right, so here I'm going to go ahead and import material.dart, which is usually the first thing that we do. Now the next thing we need to do will be to create a stateless widget. We're going to call it registration page. So while building an app, time is always of essence. I think that's why Flockta was even designed in the first place to save us a lot of time. So to save ourselves some time, we can easily go into the login page and copy most of the elements that we use here for the design. So I can simply just go ahead and copy the entire scaffold and I can go ahead and paste it inside of our registration page. Bam. Okay, so all we need to do now is to resolve the colors. I can have brand color brand colors or green so what we need to do here will be to go ahead and modify our page to be our registration page so instead of having sign in as a writer we're gonna have create a writer's account the next thing we need to do will be to add a new test field for full name so i can simply go ahead and copy this as well and paste this here and also go ahead and add a size box with a height of 10 okay so instead of having email address here i can have full name so the input type will be will be test all right so after the email address the next thing we need to add was supposed to be the phone number so i can just go ahead and copy all of this and paste this here and change this to phone number so i'm going to go ahead and edit the properties of the test field so instead of the label to read email address is going to read phone number and the input type is going to be phone okay so let's go ahead and see how this looks on our simulator so to be able to do that I need to go ahead and change our startup screen to registration page so I'm going to change this to registration page so we can now go ahead and test our registration page on our simulator alright so we have our registration page but there's still a couple of things we need to change like the button is supposed to read register so we're going to go ahead and change that so it is supposed to be register so i'm going to go ahead and hot reload all right and also we need to change the test that we have in this test widget so what we want to have there is already have a writer's account login so i'm going to change the write-up in this particular test widget so i'm going to write already have a writer's account login that actually makes more sense so our registration page is ready to go so I think this really looks beautiful right so in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and set up our route so that we'll be able to move from registration page to login page and from login page to registration page and to any other page that we want to navigate to within our application so this will be all for now see you in the next lesson